Hey guys, what's going on? Chad here, and I'm bringing you episode number 10 of my Q&A series. And I'm happy to inform you guys that I actually fixed the issue where my computer was not letting me do dual commentaries. So Tina is finally back. Did you guys miss me? And uh, we are going to be answering you guys' questions, so without further ado, let's get started. The first question is by Justin, and he asks, Have you and Tina ever had a fight where one of you wanted to break up? We've had a few fights where I kind of thought we might break up. But I never, or we never wanted to break up. We always wanted to work things out. Alright, the next question is by the Gen One Yo, I guess is how you say it. <laughs> uh, he asks, if you could change your phantom to a different class, what would, and also level would stay the same? Okay. Uh, I wouldn't change my phantom to another class, I would just keep it as a phantom and maybe buff some of the skills. And, I don't know, give Mill, like, some more damage percent or something like that. I don't know. The next question is by Scootaloo Rocks, and he asks, If you had to move out of Broa and into a different world, what would it be? And not Kaini, because the Boki is there. Um, I guess Windia, because I first started there. Or maybe Bera, because our friend's there too. And for me, I would have to pick in between, like, Gazed, Bera, um, even Kaini. I know you said not to, but whatever. And... I don't know, I guess that's it. Um, and the reason for that is I have friends that I've met through YouTube that are in all these servers, so you know, I guess if Broa didn't work out, I would go to one of those. I don't know which one I would pick, though. That would be kind of hard. Alright, the next question is by Special People and Tactics, and he or she asks, Have you ever alt f would in MapleStory when you died, or while fighting a boss? Um, no, I usually take losing to a boss like a man, and I don't bail on it. What about you, Tina? Yeah, I do that if I'm training and I realize I'm out of pots and I don't want to lose like 10%, so yeah. Noob. The next question is by our friend Brian, and he asks, What do I need to record a video? And also, how and when did you start making videos? Um, what I use is Audacity for the recording the music part, and I use Auto Screen Recorder for the video part. And... I started making MMVs, my first MMV in 2008. Alright, and to go along with what Tina said, with Auto Screen Recorder you can only record on Windows mode, or Window mode. Um, you can't record full screen, so I don't like that, so I, I use Fraps to record my videos. And Fraps can actually record like game audio, and like me talking with my microphone. So I just used Fraps for all that, and then I used Sony Vegas to, or well, we both use Sony Vegas to like render and encode our videos so that it reduces the file size without killing the quality too much, and we can post it on YouTube. So. And for the second part of the question, I started making videos in August of last year. Alright, the next question is by Newbie Show, and he asks... What do you think about the Israel vs. Palestina problems, and who are you siding with? Well, Israel is kind of the U.S.'s ally, so I guess I'm going to have to side with Israel. And, I mean, it's their land in the first place, and Palestine's trying to take it from them. So, I mean, why not back Israel? And I really don't know anything about this, and yeah, make love, not war. The next question is by Kurt Styles. Turd Styles. Oh, Chad. And he asks, do you have any tips for increasing your damage on a phantom? Um, I would say just getting like link skills. Um, Xenon's link skill is 10 all stats, so that's definitely going to increase your range. Um, Demon Avenger's coming out soon, I believe on the 23rd or 24th, and his link skill is 10% damage. Um, if you have a Kana, her link skill is 10% damage as well. Um, so just get link skills, character cards. I know Xenon's character card gives like 10 all stats, so that's really good too. Um, another thing that you can do, and this is not free by the way, but it is cheap. Go to Ardent Mill, craft your items. It's going to take some time, but you know you can sell um, any items that have really bad potential. You can just make money like that and uh, keep whatever has good potential. Or you can sell everything and just fund yourself with all that money. So that's all I really have. Uh, Tina, do you have anything? Uh, nope. Alright, the next question is by Maple Chaos Demon, and he asks 
To any aspiring recorders of any type, how would you advise them on getting started? Um, well, my tip is you'd want to have good quality videos, and when you talk, it's important to sound clear and professional. So yeah, try not to use any foul language because there are a lot of younger viewers out there, and to some people, it might sound very unpleasant or offensive to hear. And just keep your videos simple and straightforward. So that people understand like what you're talking about. The next question is by Zunosaur, and he or she asks, what was the first video game you have ever played? Um, I really don't remember, but if anything, probably Pokemon. My first video game was Pokemon Red. Alright, the next question is by Duo Mine Ops, and he asks, What is your favorite skill in MapleStory? Very easy question. My favorite skill in MapleStory is Mill from Phantoms. And mine is Reflection from Luminous. The last question is by Cookie Psycho, and here she asks, Tina, can you say something in Vietnamese or whatever language you speak? And Chad, can you repeat what she says? Um, I'm actually Chinese, not Vietnamese. And um, there's like a bunch of different dialects for Chinese. So... Asianese, it's all the same to me. <laughs> well, there's... I know how to speak Cantonese, Mandarin, and my home language, Hunanese. But I'll say I love you in Mandarin. So, well, I need... Ching Tong, Ting Tong, Ling Wong. You are so racist. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, say it again. Well, I need. Well, I need. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Well, I need. <laughs> you know what? Let's just skip this question. <laughs> no! I, I, I hope you recorded that. I did. I am, but like. Okay. I, well, I need. <laughs> sure, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. All Asian sounds the same to me. Okay, so there is one last question, and I actually deleted this one off the list because it's kind of inappropriate, but I figured, why not end the video with a bang? So I decided to throw this in last minute, and this question is by Tom Walsh, and he asks, Would you rather have a dick-sized nipple or a nipple-sized dick? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, I have a really small penis anyway, so I think I'm going to have to go with the dick-sized nipples because at least I would look natural, I think. No, you won't! <laughs> Tina, <laughs> Tina, <laughs> no, Tina, <laughs> Tina, answer the question. Would you rather have dick-sized nipples or nipple-sized dick? I don't even want to think about it. Alright, and then... <laughs> Okay, there's a second part to this question, and he asks, Do you consider Edward Snowden a hero or villain? Um, you know, this isn't inappropriate at all, so... Uh, he's the guy that's, like, on the run from the U.S. government. He, like, leaked information um, about our government spying on us and stuff. Um, honestly, I think he's doing everybody a service, so I, would, I wouldn't call him a hero by any means, but I know he's doing at least good. Um, and the government obviously doesn't like it. So I, I'm i kind of on his side, you know? I think the people really need to know what the government's up to. I mean, after all, the people are who put the government where they are, and the government seems to have lost sight of that. So I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm kind of on Edward Snowden's side. I don't know. All right, guys, that was the last question of this episode of the Q&A series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and leave your questions in the comments below. Also, please go check out Tina's channel. It is iCookieLoverX3, but it's spelled all weird, so... I'm going to just leave an annotation somewhere on this video, and you can click that, as well as a link in the description below to Tina's channel, so you can go check her out and subscribe to her. And uh, thank you guys for watching, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and toodles! toodles.